We are now entering the town of Fintown, and as you can see, Falche in the Gaelic language means welcome. Balanafinia, that's in the Gaelic language, means Fintown. This was put up in the year 2000 to celebrate the incoming of the, of the year 2000. It's lovely granite rock, and it's usually nice. It's here, very near my sister's house, which in the old days was Mary Brennan and Peter O'Donnell's house. It's just along here. And the next picture you'll see will be the house where my sister Mary McMahon lives and where she still lives today. And this is where Mary Brennan brought all her children up. And to the left of your picture, you can see the lake as it, as it, uh, as it is out there. The lake is called Loch Finn and it's named after local folklore. We had a massive giant of a man called Finn McCool. And Finn was a, a, an old time warrior that ran around this countryside with massive wolfhounds and, and things like that. And he, he actually uh, was, the, 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 he was known as the giant. Right. You know, and this is where Fintown got its name. So you have Ball the Finia, Fintown, and then you have Loch Finn, of course, and then the lake. And of course, the railway that started here in 1895, Fintown Station, yeah. and which closed sometime in the late 40s. Okay. You know, is, so it was very, very good. Where did you now, live? You lived up this way? Well, we lived further down the village to the right hand side. I was born and brought up in a little cottage. And in 1969, the house which you've just visited some minutes ago, that particular house actually was built and my father built that and we were all built there. None of the children were born there. But Connie, Con, my other brother, which you just spoke to, he was actually born was there in this a, old uh, house. School? Oh, you mean our university? Yeah. Yes, yes. For, well, I for still the kids. call it. Yeah. It was a national school and in fact it's not far from here. We could run down to see it. It's lived in today by somebody. Is it up this way? No, it's down that it's way. Down that About way. A mile and a half. Okay. Want to go down? I'll show it to you. Sure. You know, it's yeah. great. You know. This is Balnamore School. I always refer to it as my university. I went here, for, I started school here at the age of four and I think I left when I was 14 years of age. The school was built I think in 1916 and in the class in which I was in we had 54 pupils and there was girls and boys. And during our lunch time we used to play here in the yard and so on and my teacher was a Miss O'Donnell and the infant's teacher was called Miss McGonigal and we had a we had a wonderful childhood here growing up it was simple and the kind of food first of all the fuel in the winter time everybody from their home under their arm carried two suds of turf that was quite a lot of turf you know at 54 in one class that fueled the fire that kept us warm and at 12 o'clock each day a big round pot of hot water would be on and we used to have hot cocoa and then we had also had hot buns and the reason we got this food because in other parts of the country this being a Gaeltat area which means that you spoke the native language and each year you were tested by an inspector who came to the school and tested you to see how fluently spoken you were so as a result of that if you passed the little exam you actually got five pounds in the post in a check and this five pounds was used to buy you a new pair of boots to carry you through f until the next year. So that's the story about that. So there wasn't a lot of food around and, and, and luxuries in those days. Everybody was, everything was very minimal. So you came here, you sometimes, at 12 o'clock you got your cocoa and buns. Then you left school at three o'clock and when you left school you went home and you either worked in the fields helping your uncles with the hay and the corn and different things. And uh, that was the way it was then. But I still refer to it today when people say to me, where did you go to school? I always say to them, well my university was Balnamore School. Thank you for watching.